previously during the investigation. Okay then, Zack. Let's pay Harry another visit and get to the bottom of all this. And that one. And that one too. All red seeds. Welcome, York. The killings 50 years ago. There is something about it that you won't find written in those files. The people were attacking and killing each other, rampaging as though insane. Quite a story. York, I told you. It's nothing more than local folklore. What does that all mean? It's called the legend of the new raincoat killer. York, we found Thomas. Zack, okay, so it's not bonus footage. It's still part of the main feature. Perpetrator is exactly who I thought it was. Dad? Dad? Come on, boy, or it'll be too late. 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 Come on, boy, or it'll be too late.
You are waiting here for someone, aren't you? The person you are waiting for will be here soon. We come toward the climax. As the angel said, I was soon fated to meet him. What do you think of those dreams, Zack? So I do care for Emily. What about you? We should take this opportunity and talk about this a bit. If I hadn't seen your come into the bar, well, you wouldn't have found this place, would you? Now, how about that? I guess I've always been lucky when luck was needed. That's why I've been able to stay in business, too. Although we have Willie to thank for finding this room, I suppose. He's got a great nose. Clever, too. He'd be a great businessman if he wanted to be. I owed you guys one anyway. And I owed York big time, too. You guys didn't tell anyone about that whole thing with Diane. I want to help you guys out. Is there anything I can do? Kaysen, I appreciate the offer. But this is a police matter. You can leave everything to us from here. Oh, well, okay. George, look. These cigarettes, they're the same brand that York smokes. He's definitely been here. Carol's been missing since the bar closed last night. This town will be deserted if this keeps up. What do you think is really happening here in Greenvale? Emily, let's focus on looking for York. I just hope there are more leads than a cigarette butt around here. Hey, Willie, of course. You can track his scent, can't you, boy? What do you think, officers? Let him help you out, why don't you? Oh, he'd make a fine police dog. I told you, we don't need... Sounds good, Kaysen. We need all the help we can get. Come on, George. Let's let them help us. But they are civilians. Do you have a better plan? As we speak, York might be... Ugh. Right. Let's have them help. Thank you, George. But one thing. With York missing in action, I'm back in charge. And York would give me hell if something bad happened to you guys. So promise me you'll call for backup at the first sign of danger. Yes, of course. I think we're missing something here. So I'm going to look around a bit longer. You go with Kaysen and follow York's trail. Thank you, George. We're counting on you, boy. Welcome to the force, Deputy Willie.
<laughs> Let's get rolling then. Okay, I'm counting on you, Willie. Oh, not counting on me, though, are you? Sheesh. He can be a little selfish, but he's a good dog. He stayed with me all this time, through all the good and the bad. How long have you been together? Oh, we go back a long time. I can't even remember a time when he wasn't around. I had a dog when I was small, too. He was a beagle, so we named him Bee. <laughs> Stupid name, I know. He hated being left alone and always followed me around. I could tell him anything, even things I couldn't tell my parents. He'd look into my eyes and listen intently to anything I had to say. It's like he sympathized, and he didn't make fun of me. He would just listen. When I was done talking, he'd put a paw on my thigh. My worries just faded away when he did that. It made me feel like I was just a fool for worrying so much. Dogs are great that way. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I think they got a lot more wisdom than us humans. Even if they are betrayed, they don't see it that way. Sure sounds foolish, but you know dogs, why they're always happy. I'm positive that even if man perishes off the face of the earth, dogs, why they'll just carry on regardless. They see everything, you know. From their dog houses, they look out and they see what humans do. Kason. Oh look, Deputy Will is calling for us. He's always like that. Let's get back to the chase. 